Okay, let's examine the topic of converting back and forth between pH and pOH values. So remember that pH is derived from the concentration of hydrogen ion. pOH is derived from the concentration of hydroxide. And the biggest thing, though, that comes with converting between these two is just the relation is the basics of the relationship. The math is fairly simple. It's simply pH plus pOH equals 14. Okay, so the mathematical side of that becomes pretty straightforward in the sense of if you want to find pH, for example, you just subtract pOH from both sides, minus pOH minus pOH. So pH equals 14 minus pOH. Or if you want to find pOH, looking back up here, it's just pOH is equal to 14 minus pH, subtract pH out from both sides. 14 minus pH. Okay, so it's really 14 minus the other thing is equal to what you're trying to get when it comes to this sort of thing. So that makes for a pretty straightforward conversion. Really, the only tripping point is going to be on when it comes to rounding for correct significant figures. So, we're going to assume that this is infinite sig figs. Oh, it's out of view for you, huh? There we go. So we're going to assume that this 14 right here is infinite sig figs meaning that it will not affect how you round your answer. Your rounding will be entirely based on these two numbers. So, let's bring this back into view and look at what you do. pH of 7.32. So in order to find that, pOH, let's convert to pOH, is 14 minus 7.32, which is equal to, uh, let's see, 14 minus 7.32 is 6.68. There is no unit in pOH, though you certainly can do like this, for example, just to make it extra clear what you're doing. And of course, you want to box your answers when it comes to like what's on a, um, a calculation section of an exam. But here's the thing, though, about significant figures. There's three sig figs here, there's three sig figs here, but it's not be the fact that there's three sig figs here has nothing to do with the fact that there's three significant figures here. The reason why there's three significant figures in this number is a different thing. It's because this number goes up to the hundreds place. So when I subtract, the rules for subtraction are that the number that goes out the fewest decimal places is determining your final answer. So this is going out to the hundreds place. This goes out to infinity significant figures. So since this goes to the hundreds place, my answer goes to the hundreds place. Okay, that comes up here. If, I want P, if I'm given pOH, that means I'm trying to find pH is equal to 14 minus 2.11. That gives me a pH, or a, yeah, a pH of 11.89. Again, four sig figs, three sig figs, but this is correct because this number goes out to the hundreds place, two decimals over. This number also goes out to hundreds place, two decimals over. Now, a pH can be negative. A very strong acid will give a negative pH. So, you treat it just the same as anything else. Okay, pOH equals 14 minus pH. That means 14 minus a negative 0 0.21. That means the pH is 14.21. It's a pH greater than 14, yes? Or, sorry, whoops, a pOH greater than 14. Such things are possible. So, is it off the scale? Yeah, I suppose so, but it, such things are possible. So it, ah, I can't even read that. pOH, there we go. It's equal to 14.21. Okay, now, what I'd like you, the viewer, to do is practice. You can either go back to the beginning of the video where all these were in view, or I suppose you can look at this and then you can look at this. Pause the video and practice these because I'm going to put the answers up right now. And here they come. Okay, so maybe I'll zoom it out a bit so you can see it better. That should be all of it. Okay, there's the answers to all eight of these practice problems.
uh, once again. Goes out to the hundreds place, goes out to the hundreds place, goes out to the hundreds place, to the hundreds place. This goes out to the hundreds place, this goes out to the hundreds place, this goes out to the tenths place, tenths place here also. Hundreds place, 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 hundreds place. Okay, that's the reason why these are rounded as they are rounded. All right, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Happy studies.